It is not a choice. We are angels commanded to influence humans so they may follow to lead and go to the Lord. Yes, I know. I'm not arguing with you, Charity. We pursue the same goals. We just do it different ways. You do it your way. I do it mine. Hmm. Yes, that we do. Where I use charity to open the hearts of humans, you use methods that I believe to be questionable. Well, nothing wrong with my methods. The good Lord has not seen fit to call them questionable, as you say. Besides, we may have some fun while doing the Lord's work. Fun? Is that what you call it? Mischief, that's the appropriate word. Hence, your name. Admit it. No good has come out of you interfering with the construction on Passa Grill Way. <laughs> oh, Charity. Do I have to explain everything? In case you didn't notice, more people turn to God after a year's worth of bumpy rides than they do from a fiery sermon on Sunday. And yes, my numbers are comparable to times of famine and war. I must admit, Mischief, you are rather clever, but did you also have to make the air ripe with the smell of sewage? Oh, you just don't get it. Charity, you're just too... Um, too, too what? Too nice. Oh, I think I will take offense at that remark. I will let you know that being nice is not a weakness. If anything, it's a requirement of us angels of the Lord. That's why I have a halo and you don't. That's why I have a halo and you don't. Besides, I can do this better than you and all the while still being nice. Really? You think you can uh, bring more people to the Lord than I can? Yes, I do. Okay, then uh, let's make a wager. Here come two humans. Which one of us will be more effective in drawing them closer to God? Oh, can you see what's going on? The man questions the meaning of life. So you think you have a natural advantage. I may, but I also sense disbelief. Perfect for my skill set. So what are the ground rules? What are the terms of our wager? Okay. I think it has to be real and not just a passing thought. They have to earnestly seek God in prayer. Agreed. But there must be a time limit. Say, before morning ends. Oh, making it difficult, are we? All right, I'll accept your offer and raise it to the next 30 minutes. How does that feel? Fine, if you insist. Here's another one. No unnecessary tragedies. Okay, and no falling in love. I know how you like to use the human heart. Fair enough. I accept the wager. Shall we agree to the terms? How about the winner enjoys an evening concert with the angelic choir? What? Another hallelujah chorus? I don't think so. How about the loser has to comb the feathers of the winner? Careful. My wings possess a mind of their own. Then it's agreed. Oh, look, here they come. Marty, I'm telling you, you gotta watch it. I don't know, Flo. I'm just not into gruesome displays of blood. And besides, those zombies are totally disgusting. And they're not real. about zombies. It's about the classic struggle between good and evil. It's about people finding their purpose and trying to make some good out of a world gone haywire. So it's not an apocalyptic show about blood and gore? It's more than that? Oh, it's a lot more than that. Marty, you love the metaphors. You know, the human condition and that sort of thing. It's like a commentary on society. Hmm. Really, what's it called? The Walking Dead. Marty, it promotes the philosophy that we all have the real potential to 
to become the walking dead. We have to stay alive in our hearts and in our minds so the inner zombie doesn't emerge and come out. <laughs> Who knew this walking dead show was about philosophy? Oh, I know what you're thinking. You want to use this zombie business to win the wager. How can I not pick this low-lying fruit? Temptation is a low-lying fruit. Remember the fate of Adam and Eve. Remember, I must remind you, we have on a, we're on a wager here, and I must leave you now. Well, where are you going? I have a bet to win. How much longer before we get to church? It's just around the bend. That's what you said two bends ago. Quit your bed again. You're the one that made us miss the bus. Besides, the walk will do it. Yeah, uh, look at the look at the time. Uh, we're not gonna make it on time. Why don't we turn around now and call it a day? No, I want to hear the pastor's take on Easter. What would I say this year? <laughs> yeah, another Easter, another spin on the resurrection. I gotta be honest with you, Flo. I'm not looking forward to it. And why not? I just don't buy it. God, or the pastor's interpretation? Uh, not sure. I believe in God. I like going to church. But I'm just not sure I'm convinced about the resurrection and all that stuff. Well, it is extraordinary. But isn't that the point? I mean, I don't focus on the details, you know. To me, it's the bottom line that we matter. God, in his infinite love, creates new life out of that which is dead. Yeah, I get that. But the rolling away of the stone from the tomb is a bit much. And then there's an angel in the tomb. Who can believe that? Who believes in angels? You don't believe in angels? Well, of course not. And then Jesus comes back to life. And his friends don't even recognize him. How can that be? And now he's a spiritual being. Who can understand that? I don't know that we can ever fully understand it. I think we're supposed to go beyond the story and concentrate on God's work in our life today. It isn't about history. It's about today. And, and the renewal of our own lives. You know what I mean? No, I don't. You think it's a Walking Dead story? Am I one of the Walking Dead? I didn't say that, but aren't we all Walking Dead if we don't have a God-given purpose? I suppose. Yeah. Um. I'm going to go to the store and get some water here. Uh. Oh my God. Sin that one of us just 
is so urgent. North Korea launched a long-range ballistic missile in the early morning hours. It hit the open waters of the Pacific Ocean just several miles from the California coast where it is thought to have detonated. Did you not hear the news? I suppose our military's gonna have to get involved. We have a special on allergy medication. Can you imagine all those people in California? They must be feeling. And also a special Sammy Davis Jr. Christmas in July with every Rachel Ray casserole. Come on. Pay the woman, will ya? That would be a dollar. Did you not hear the news on the TV? Did you hear about our special? <laughs> Does it not bother you? It's a dollar All right, hold on. I've got exact change. <laughs> 